Hi guys, this is the video comparison of the Zolo Q1010i and the Zolo Play 6X1000. Both phones are having a 5 inch display, both 720p displays. Let's test their displays using the display tester app. We'll test the multi touch first. Six X one thousand five multi touch points. The Q ten ten I same five multi touch points. Now these are some real world photos at fifty percent brightness. This is another photo. The Q ten ten I has a much colder display, while the six X one thousand is having a warmer display. You can look at the greens. A warmer display, a colder display. The blues. Now this is what. Uh, it is a nice and. A, let me adjust. Just a minute. Yeah. This is a dark environment. These are the whites. I'll just adjust the exposure. Yeah. Again, whites. This is much colder. This is much warmer. So this was about the display. Let now let's start with the basic specs. We'll use the CPU setup. Now the Q1010i. Sports a 1.3 gigahertz quad core. That's a MediaTek MT6582 chipset with Mali 400 GPU, clocked at 500 megahertz. You can see the four cores, one GB of RAM, 950 MB available. Around 409 is free. Temperature is 28 degrees Celsius, and only three sensors: light sensor, proximity, and the accelerometer. 1.5 gigahertz hexa-core processor. These are the six cores over here. Mali 450 GPU clocked at 600 megahertz, a faster GPU as compared to the Q1010. 2 GB of RAM, around 1 GB is free, and a bevy of sensors here. The accelerometer, proximity sensor, light sensor. These were the three that that Q1010 included, and these are the extra sensors. These are this is the gyroscope, the orientation sensor, magnetic field sensor, rotation vector sensor, gravity sensor. So a bunch of sensors. More as compared to the Cube and Tenai. Now we'll talk about the build quality. The build is like both are plasticky, but the Cube and Tenai here is like matte plastic, soft touch rubber. It feels nice in the hand, solid, no quirking, nothing. Sorry. While in case of the Cube, uh, I mean the 6X1000, you have a glossy back. Both are not susceptible to fingerprints. That's the best thing. It's like plastic. But still solid and no cokiness whatsoever. Both are solid phones. Weight is around the same. Now the dimensions are. This is a much more compact phone. It's 140 in length. In terms of breadth, it's 70 and around 8.5 mm. Really compact. Now this is kind of bigger as compared to the 6X1000. In terms of length, this is 144, 72 in terms of breadth, and thickness is around 8.5. I think the Q1010i is much uh, a little more. Uh, it's around I think 140 grams. I don't know the exact calculation. Maybe this is 135. This is 140. A bit more heavier. We'll talk about the cameras now. Both sporting 8 megapixel sensors at the back, as you can see with flash. The front-facing 2 megapixel camera, a front-facing 2 megapixel camera. This has had. This includes a secondary microphone over here. And a primary over here. This does not include a secondary microphone, but I said in my full review, it does not make much of a difference. This is a Sony XMR R 8 megapixel sensor. This is a BSI 2 8 megapixel sensor. Now we'll compare the image qualities. Now, yeah. Now this was a photo. Taken in 
आई लाइक नॉर्मल लाइटिंग कंडीशन भैया दिस वॉज विथ फ्लैश ऑफ ना वेन वी स्विच ऑन द फ्लैश You can judge for yourself the picture quality. The third picture is with HDR on. That's high dynamic range on. So this was about the picture quality. Now we'll test the sound quality. Yeah, Wi-Fi is on. Yeah. The Zolo Q ten ten I. What are having rare speakers over here? The speakers over here. The Q10i. Now let's check the 6x1000. 6x1000. Same video. Now we'll test the sound quality. 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 Now we'll test the The sound is much lower on the 6x1000. The sound was more on the Q10i. Now let's check the sound quality. 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 The most important part is the RAM. This includes 2 GB RAM. This includes 1 GB RAM. Now that affects the whole overall performance. We'll just check out the benchmarks on both. The same benchmarks. I'm not going to run them. I'll show you the screenshots. Yeah. Quadrant first. Now this code, the Q10i, 8,682. And the 6x1000 score, 9,955. That's around 10,000. This is around 9,000. This is around 10,000. Let's go for Nina Mark now. On Nina Mark, 61.1 FPS. Zolo Play, 6x1000, 61.1. And the Q1010i. Is 53.2, much lower as compared to the 6x1000. Last one is Antutu Q10i, 17,838. 6x1000 over here. 6x1000, 6, around 22,000. 21,855. That's around 22,000. The last but not the least is the price point. Now this is something that you can find at around 11,000 to 11,500 rupees. And this is something new which you can find for 13,000 to 13,500. Like a 2,000 price gap. Now the most important part is this includes 2 GB RAM. This includes 1 GB RAM. Both running Android KitKat 4.4.2. So that's it guys, this was uh, just a simple comparison between the 6x1000 and the Q1010i.